hello guys welcome back to my channel in uh, today's uh, tutorial i'm going to take you through the number system conversion and uh, specifically on uh, decimal to binary conversion and we are going to dive uh, on the whole thing using the long division methods remember that uh, we can convert a decimal to binary either using a long division or the place value method so i will take this one uh, for this uh, particular example i'm going to take you through the long method then the next other example in the next video i'm going to take you through the place value method so you can check the two videos then you try to compare which uh, method is easier for you so before we dive into the example we need to remember that uh, decimal for the decimal the number system uses 10 different digits in the counting that is from zero for this one is from zero one two three four five six seven and nine those are 10 digits while for the binary we have two digits that is namely zero and one so for you to convert a number from decimal to binary using the long methods these are the steps that you are supposed to take Step number one, you divide the decimal number by two. Remember, why are we using the two? Because we are trying to convert the decimal number to binary, which has two digits. That's why we are using the two. So you convert the number, you divide by the number by two continuously until you write down the reminder. As you write down the reminder until the quotient is zero then after that after you get the quotient is zero you read the remainder from downwards going upward then the final part is to write the answer in the base two i hope of the third point we are together and uh, guys remember if you are new in uh, this channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you have any question or any suggestion write it in the suggestion box on the suggestion section on the comment section i will get back to you okay let's go direct to our example so this is our first example where we have five base 10. remember the rules you are supposed to divide the number by two okay let's start with the two so we have uh, the number the number is uh, 15 this is a 15 15 this is a solution 15 divided by 2 which is a 7 this is a 7 reminder you get 7 reminder one then you take the seven you divide by two then we have seven divide by two where you will get three reminder one next you get the number three divide by two which is one reminder one then lastly we have one divided by two and the answer is zero reminder one so after you get the conscious zero the conscious is the last part so you'll get the zero this part this is the quotient. This is our quotient, the one that I've highlighted. Okay, now remember the rules. Have to get the quotient is zero. You are supposed to read the the remainder upward. You read the remainder, not that R stand for the remainder upward. So I will draw another line going upward to elaborate how to go about it. The answer, therefore. Final answer is this is the final answer. 
you read uh, the answer going upward is one 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 they are supposed to be four ones then you read the answer with base two to translate that uh, we have converted the number from decimal to binary binary the answer is supposed to have a base two as the answer okay let's go to the next example i hope that you have understood this one so this is correct okay let's move to another example where we have 10 base 100 base 10 i will give you maybe two minutes you go through the whole thing following the step that we have highlighted then i will do it as a as you watch So that is seconds remaining. Okay, let's do it. So our number is 100. Remember the rules, you divide the number. So we have, uh, this is a, so our number is a uh, 100 you divide by two and this one will give you 50 50 reminder zero next we have the 50 Okay, sorry for that. So we have a so we have the fifty divided by two, which will give us twenty five reminder. You get twenty five reminder zero as usual. Take the next part, the 25 now, 25, this is 25, divided by 2, which is a 12, reminder 1. Then we have the 12, divided by 2, which is, which is a 6, reminder 0. Then the six divided by two, which is a three, which is a three reminder zero. Then the three, three reminder two, which is a one reminder one, and lastly one over two which is zero reminder one remember whenever now you get the quotient being zero that is the end of uh, your calculation so our quotient as by now is uh, zero okay having done that uh, the next step is to read uh, your reminder upward like this I usually prefer to use the arrow to give me a rough idea on now to to get uh, the answers so you write your answers the answers are the one one zero zero one zero zero base two remember a binary number which has two digits you must have two has the base okay okay as you can see we have done it correctly so you give yourself a right if you have gotten it correctly before we dive now to our last example okay 
let's move now to the next uh, the, the last example which is uh, on uh, 64 very simple case for 64 this is 64 suppose be sorry for this this is 64 base 10 okay for 64 we start with the as usual maybe i should give you maybe one minute by now you should be able to do the whole thing within the shortest time possible 50 seconds just look at the rules Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Now let's do the whole thing now. So we have uh, the number which is a uh, six four divided by two, which is a uh, thirty two reminder zero. Then the thirty two, thirty two divided by two, you get uh, sixteen. 16 yeah, no problem let me wrap this we have a 16 reminder zero then we have the 16 divided by 2 you get uh, 8 reminder zero then we have the 8 divided by 2 you get uh, Four. Reminder zero. Then the four divided by two, you get uh, you get uh, two. Reminder zero. Then we have the two divided by two, you get one. Reminder zero and lastly one over two is equal to zero reminder zero sorry 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 it's not reminder zero but reminder one so this is also this is a reminder one this is a reminder so as long as you are able now to get the quotient being zero, it means that that is the last part of your working. Okay, then last step is to read your things and uh, the binary the binary digits that have been generated as the reminder as your answer. Therefore, we have one one zero 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 base two so that is the final answer that you're supposed to get so you give yourself a tick for that so if you convert a 64 to 54 as a decimal to the binary you will eventually get one zero 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 base two as the answer which is now the binary number of the decimal so i hope up to that point we are able now to use to use the the long division methods to get or rather to convert a decimal number to binary so in the next video i will show you on how to use the other methods that is the place value methods so in case you are having a challenge on this one you can try on the other one so in case you have any question or any suggestion write it on the comment section also don't forget to subscribe bye bye have a lovely day